All right, guys, in this episode, we're going to be building the frame. And this is what it looks like, except I changed a few of the dimensions. So here we go. Okay, quick update. So you can see I have most of the trailer frame cut out, but I made a mistake. Apparently, this is a 50 degree coupler, but I had cut all of the tongue pieces for 45. Luckily, I made these two main rails long, so I have room for correction and those three pieces are also too long since I made the tongue a little shorter now. So I'm going to fix that before I assemble everything. So these two pieces I have here are a little too short. So I'm just going to make it longer. Just weld that back up. And yeah. Turned out not half bad. And we're done. Just kidding. I just laid it out so I can see what it looks like. It's not welded or anything. So the next thing to do is I'm going to cut holes open. So I'm going to run the wire in the tube. So I need to cut access holes before I weld it so I can make sure all the wire runs inside the tube to all the places I needed to go for the e-brake and all the lights and everything. So yeah, that's what's next. So this is the wire that comes from the tongue into the base of the tongue. So I need to notch the back side so it can run down the side rails. And then there's going to be a few more spots on the side rails I need to notch out to run the wire across for the, well, I guess they call ID lights and the reverse camera. I'm going to put a camera in the back there and then I could start welding everything together. Doesn't look too bad. It looks like it fits perfectly. I 
think I cut all the holes I need for running the wires. Um, on the bottom side, I think after I weld everything together, I'm just going to cut uh, a hole with a hole saw and use a plug to plug it so I can have access to all the wiring member thingamabobber. The last thing I need to do is cut the ramp angle on these main deck tubes before I start welding the whole frame together. My first taper done turned out a lot better than I thought it would. So I need to make a cover for this. I'm probably going to CAD it out with the piece I cut out into CAD. Just uh, cut a section out on the plasma cutter with the extra material that I have laying around. I think I got everything cut, so I'm ready to weld. Here is the four ramp pieces. These two are the two for the trailer tongue. They go something like that? Wow, look at that. It looks great. That's the other side. I guess the only thing left to cut is a filler plate for the ramp, but I can I can cut that later because uh, it's not, I guess, part of what I need to cut while part of the frame. So yeah, now it's time to get to welding.
So I got most of the frame all welded up. I'm missing the top side and the bottom side. But I have this piece. Oh, shit. This cover plate that I cut out from the plasma that I need to weld in. And then I have four more cross beams for the wheel sections to do too. Okay, well, I ran out of welding wire again, so I need to buy more, but this is pretty much done. I'm missing the welds here, and then some welds in the back, but beyond that, I'm done. So that's going to end this episode, I guess. I'm going to get more wire for those, and then grind all the bottom and top welds flat just, just because. And then I think in the next episode, we will put some wheels on this thing. <laughs>